So a fantastic result today, 5-0 uh, over Bamber Bridge. Um, must be delighted with that today. Yeah, no, buzzing for the lads. Um, obviously put a little bit of a stop to this, um, this mini rut we've been in. Um, you know, like not winning in uh, four games, but yeah, it was, uh, it was great to get the result against Bamber today. And quality performance, you know, like uh, we were controlled in the first half, went into half-time at 0-0 and then took our chance in the second half and uh, were the winners in the end, I think. Yeah, Mikey, what did you say to them at half-time? It was a bit of a tight, tight affair in the first 45. No, we just ironed out a few things that they was good at um, and just asked to keep doing the same thing in possession. You know, we did uh, we did sort of mention about the, the quality needed to be a little bit better in the final third and you know with the crossing and, and, and getting the shots off. But and it was second half I thought when the uh, the top three and four um, raised the quality I thought you know it just showed there, you know, with the finishes and obviously getting five goals in forty five minutes. Yeah, so it was in the in the press this week that the Mikey said that the goal will come and uh, but they come today. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, like we've been we've been playing well. You know, performances haven't been um, haven't been poor by any stretch. But um, we've just been missing that like well, that final little bit. Um, whether it's like a half chance, or we said to the lads today, like if anything anything in the box, like keep everything alive, or you know, you never know what you might get. And I think today we'll just yeah, we've uh, accumulated the last four games and been really clinical today. Um, I can just looking at a few of the goals and uh, the first two. Um, first one was a brilliant move on the left hand side with uh, Casey and. And Azza and a good finish by Savs, and then obviously Azza got one himself. Yeah, no, funny enough, actually, we did some crossing and finishing the other day, so I um, don't know if it's anything to do with that, but it was great movement from Savs because he went near and then pulled off him, and obviously a fantastic delivery um, from Azza, um, and he couldn't have missed it. Obviously, Azza's the, the coolest man in England, we all know that, don't we? But he's uh, chopped on the inside and just slotted it on the, uh, the far corner. And look, you know, we just went from, from there, and then obviously Will came on, and you could see what Will was about, you know, like for like. We know that case is magic, we just won't quite happen in three in possession, but he still worked his socks off. And, and when you can replace Casey with quality like that, you know, you can just keep the pressure on the opposition. And uh, I thought it was classed by Will coming on and, and slotting two and nearly got three. Yeah, so just looking at Will, uh, inspired substitution, coming on and scoring two in two minutes, pretty much, and also, also got his hat trick. Um, how impressed were you with him today? Yeah, it was class. Well, he came on last week um, against Hyde, and um, you know, for 10 15 minutes, like you know, show his quality, show what he's about, and uh, he's added the finishing touches today. And yeah, as you said, really looking not to get his third, which is uh, I think if we had uh, the VAI, it might have uh, he might have nicked it, but um, yeah, it's, it's a shame, really. But um, yeah, no, Philip, brilliant for him, really pleased for him as well because he's just come to the club, so you know, he's settling in, and it's a great way to settle in. Yeah, that's not from VAR, is it, just yet? <laughs> uh, Mikey, on to Monday now, full of confidence going to the uh, Scarf game. We've just got to keep doing what we're doing. I mean, if you look at that there, you know, every sub that came on, and obviously certain players we didn't get on, everybody's just moving in the right direction. Um, you know, there's no big time challenges in the team. Everybody wants to put 110% in. And we'll just keep doing it. We'll keep wanting to keep playing. We're playing some great football at now at times. Um, and we're just going to look forward to the challenge on Monday and go again. Yeah, so I just finally, um, you couldn't really pick out any player today to stand out, but Corey Roper was, was um, impressed with the field as ever. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, do you know, Corey's like put in, you know, like, I think, I think he's played, he played 17 games in a row at one point, and then, like, he had a bit of a break and then went again and with an injury, but he's been phenomenal since he's been with us this season as Corey, and uh, he probably doesn't get the credit he deserves, but he's in that position where a lot of people don't notice, but he, um, you know, they noticed today, which is good for him, and I'm really pleased for him. Well done, lads. Cheers. Cheers.